Sure. Um, what were uh, inherited genetics and its impact on the family? Well, first of all, every family is impacted by inherited genetics. Uh, an example would be, I happen to be a right curve spinal pattern. I followed a brother. My mother wanted a daughter, so therefore I'm more female dominant and emotional. The right curve man will attract a left curve female. A left curve female, in many cases, it's an issue where the father wants a boy and gets a girl. So what does that girl become? Very dominant, very strong, very controlling. So this just shows a basic example of psychogenetics. And then if we look at it a generation back, we would say, okay, well, my mother was raised in a family with 10 kids. Her father wanted boys to farm. Out of the first six kids, I think there were five girls, and my mom was right in that mix. So we see how my mom was strong and dominant. So then she would have to attract a male that was more female dominant, which my dad was, more emotional, more sensitive. He seeked his mother's approval, not his father's approval, because his mother wa was present and his father was more absent. So this just gives you an example of how psychogenetics is impacting every family life and how a dominant mother will pass down to the son a high expectation pattern. The son will think that if they do it well enough, they'll get what they need. And so they'll give their best, they'll look for approval. When the approval doesn't come, then what they'll think is they haven't done enough. And so that just shows you a few examples of how psychogenet psychogenetics can impact a person and create confusion within their identity and reality.